Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In this video, I'm gonna go over a Kickstarter project that I found that is incredibly interesting. But before I get started, I would like to let you know with all Kickstarter projects, you do run the risk of the project not being funded. In that event, you may or may not get your money back. So I'm not saying to back this project, and I'm not saying to not back this project. I'm simply bringing it to your attention because it is very interesting. What makes this interesting is that it is a new game for a retro system. It's a brand new game for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So if you don't have a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, you probably won't be able to play this game because it is being released on a cartridge that plugs into the SNES. It is called Unholy Knight the Darkness Hunter, and it is a fighting game. So let's take a quick look at the trailer. So right away, it reminds me of an anime style fighter, similar to Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear. It does seem like it plays a little bit slower than both of those games though. I'm also noticing that these combos are doing a heck of a lot of damage. This combo here is basically just taking the full life bar away from that character. So I'm kind of worried about that. It's something I'd like to learn a little bit more about. It's a very interesting point. It might be very fun to do against an AI, but it could be incredibly frustrating if you're playing against a real person who knows what they're doing in the game. Samurai Showdown and King of Fighters. So this has been built by a team that has worked on both of those game series, which is absolutely nothing to scoff at. Samurai Showdown and King of Fighters are very well known in the retro gaming community and very well respected in the fighting game community. Current status, the game has been fully developed and is ready for mass production. So that is very good to know. It's very comforting because the game is complete. All they're doing is just trying to raise funds to put it on cartridges, which makes a lot of sense considering that cartridges are very expensive. There are six characters in the game, and this is also something I'm slightly concerned about. Because there are six characters in the game, I'm hoping that there's going to be an immersive story or at least a lot of depth to the fighting system, or else this game could get very stale very fast. It might only appeal to the hardcore fighting game enthusiast and might not appeal to a just a retro gamer in general. Cartridge photos. So there is a smoke clear black cartridge as well as a gold cartridge. I kind of like the looks of the smoke cartridge, but the gold one looks like it will be the exclusive one. There is box art included with every cartridge, which is great for the collector out there because then they get a box for the game. And there is an instruction manual, which is good for the gamers out there so that they know what combos do what. Um, to be perfectly honest, this game probably won't have a lot of material out there in order to help you out with the combos and timing of combos and whatnot so it might just be good to know how to do those combos in the first place and that'll probably be in the or at least i hope that'll be in the instruction manual so let's take a look at the backing tiers here one dollar gets you a thank you ten dollar gets you a new snes third-party controller and it is branded so these controllers are branded with the unholy knight so i'm not sure if it's a sticker or a painted job if it's a painted job on the faceplate then that's one heck of a bargain that's really cool again ten dollars is roughly the going rate some of them get a little more expensive than that for a third-party controller so that might be worth it just for the controller uh, 35 dollars gets you the game so this is not an expensive game by any stretch of the imagination which also makes sense why there's only six characters it kind of justifies itself on the price there. If this was an $80 game with six characters, then I would be a little apprehensive there. I'm still a little apprehensive at $35 for six characters. Uh, $40 gets you a cartridge and a controller. So that this right here, I'm surprised that more people haven't done the $40 tier as opposed to um, everyone that has already done the $35 tier. I'm not sure why. It, you know, it's $5 you get an extra controller and it's always handy to have a controller considering this is being played on the Super Nintendo um, it, it'd be nice to have just a cool collector controller somewhere sitting around so for five bucks I mean I don't see why you wouldn't go for this tier but 
I'm just surprised because it's almost double the amount of people who have gone for the $35 tier. I'm kind of uh, shocked by that. That's okay. And then there's a $70 tier for the gold cartridge. So I will say this, $70, I don't know if this is a $70 game. Um, you do get the limited edition gold cartridge, but I will also say this. There are 1,500 cartridges they're looking to produce. If a 1,000 of those are gold cartridges, they're not really exclusive. I would say that the, actually the smoke cartridge might become the exclusive one as there only could then potentially be 500 smoke cartridges and a 1,000 gold cartridges. And I will also say this, I don't see this selling millions of copies. This is a game for the Super Nintendo. They do not make the Super Nintendo anymore. So really, the first initial push, I believe, will be the majority of the sales on this game, as the retro gamers and collectors will make their purchases, myself maybe included, and at that, and after it, the market really dwindles down. You know, this isn't going to be a game that's going to be sitting beside PS4 games at GameStop, so I don't really see this one being a huge seller. Nothing against the game, it's just the way the market is. So right now, I don't see the value in getting a gold cartridge. I think the value right here is this $40 tier. You get a game and a controller. But that's all I've got on this one. I'm still debating whether or not I want to back it. I'm very risk adverse, so I'm not a risky person. So what I'm probably going to do is wait closer to the day um, and take a look at how the, the goal is doing and then put my money in. But anyways, that's all I've got today. Thank you, everyone. Take care.